Good morning, exactly to each and everyone. So guys, uh, we will be having our asynchronous class in values formation, but this is only a continuation <coughs> of our class, uh, well, our discussion last meeting. It's all about um, the FIATI rules and regulation. And I guess I already um, discussed to you the attendance and punctuality. I will just continue what we already discussed. Or we, what we already discussed uh, for this matter. Okay, so like I mentioned before, FIATI is very observant and very strict in terms of attendance and punctuality. And even I, especially as your advisor in grade 11, I'm so very um, strict and not lenient in terms of the attendance. Okay, because syempre, um, never or hindi naman ako nalilate pagdating sa klase during face to face so that's why ini imply ko rin yon uh, process sa grade 11 as well okay but let's see first what are the rules and regulation of yati in terms of attendance and punctuality so like what we discussed regarding for this uh, for this matter so in terms for attendance in physical education so you, uh, before that in order for you or for some students that uh, has a or some students that have a um, medical condition or uh, hindi kailang o hindi po pwedeng mag um, physical activity sa, uh, sa PE subjects so in order for you to be excused in that particular subject or activity you need to submit a medical uh, a written note coming from your parents together with a medical certificate question so sir question what if we don't have any medical certificate if you don't have a medical certificate with you so all you need to do is to give a medical report saying for uh, saying that you have this particular kind of illness or particular kind of condition so that's why hindi kayo po pwede sa mga physical activities and if you're going to ask if what if the the medical certificate is um uh, uh has no date or hindi siya yung updated that would be fine for as long as you still have the current condition for that particular um note so nothing to worry but all you need to do since this uh we have only a uh synchronous or asynchronous or flexible learning uh assessment uh flexible learning activity so all you need to do is to uh, take a picture of your medical certificate together with the written note or the uh, explanation of uh, from your, uh, coming from your parents and then send it to me directly and then I will be the one to send it to your uh, to your uh, P teacher together with the together to uh, together with um, our junior administration uh, administrator and our um, school principal okay and in terms of the class, so kagaya na ginagawa natin, as always, so our um, for, uh, our schedule is 7.30 in the morning, and then we're going to end at 4.30 in the afternoon. But in terms of 7.30, so you need to be here in the class, in the school as, at exactly 7.30. Okay, we don't have any grace period. So for uh, if you... Uh, 7.31, automatically you, are, you will be declared as late okay and if you're going uh, in school once na late ka 731 or kahit ano pa yan automatic malilate ka pero hindi ka pwede pumasok sa loob ng classroom okay so you need to go directly to our junior admin which is mom debbie then bibigyan niya kayo ng um, slip three copies yon that's one for you one for the uh, one for the advisor and one for the subject teacher so kailangan pirmahan muna ni junior admin yon and at the same time, papapirmahan nyo yung mga sleep kay advisor at kay subject teacher para makapasok kayo sa classroom. Pero dito sa atin, yun nga, hindi pa, natin, hindi pa naman siya nagkakaroon ng, ng rules and regulation regarding for, for that matter. So, okay lang na, na malate kayo. What, what I mean sa okay is, pwede kayong pumasok, syempre sa, uh, sa Zoom natin, kahit na late kayo. Pero syempre, automatic, kung late kayo, eh, matatag pa rin kayo ng late. 
Okay, same policy apply pa rin. Applies pa rin. Pero, yun nga lang, syempre, papasok kayo. Hindi kayo, nang walang sleep, okay lang naman yun. Wala namang problem. So, ayun. Kailangan nga niya ng admin pass. Tapos, um, dito naman, uh, kapag late kayo ng, yun na nga, yung na-discuss natin dito, if you are late for an hour, okay, so, Uh, basahin nyo na lang siya dito kasi self-explanatory naman siya. Uh, pero applicable dito or uh, ito na apply rin sa atin na sa virtual uh, class din natin. Okay? Kasi na-discuss na rin natin ito eh. So, ganun pa rin. Hindi na natin siya uulitin. Okay? And then, next, in terms of tardiness, okay, sabihin na natin na uh, meron na kayong tardy or late na kayo. Okay? So, meron tayo probationary niyan. For example, ikaw, as a student, you already incur 10 absences. Okay, hanggang sa pulang or 10 absences lang. Or kaso lumag, na medyo matigas ang mukha mo, um, sino, ginawa mo pang sobra-sobra yung late mo. Okay? So, once na nagkaroon ka ng 10, ab, ng 10 late sa isang semester na yun, prelims, midterms, and finals, or more than 10, uh, 10 tardiness, automatically, so, ikaw ay magiging under sa disciplinary probation. Okay? When we say disciplinary probation, is ito yung uh, kakausapin ka ni principal, ni advisor, at ni parent. So, magkakaroon kayo ng tinatawag nating triad. Okay? You need to discuss to the triad, bakit ka late, or the reason why you're late. Okay? And then, you will need to commit, to make a commitment that you will never be late again o hindi mo na dadagdagan yung late mo for this semester. Okay? So, pag gano'n ang nangyari, okay, um, ibig sabihin nito, yun nga, hindi ka pa pwedeng malate and at the same time, uh, minomonitor na rin yung attendance mo. Kahit one minute pa lang yan, even if that's one minute or two minutes na late, hindi ka rin pa pwede na malate. Okay? So, hindi lang to applicable sa ano ha, sa first subject. This, this will be applied on all the subject na papasokan ninyo. Okay? So, eto, yun nga, as, per, as you can see, disciplinary probation on tardiness is imposed for two consecutive semesters. So, ibig sabihin nito, um, pag sa first sem, ganoon siya, okay, naging probationary. Tapos, inulit po pa ulit sa susunod na semester, which is second semester, ganoon pa rin ang mangyayari. Hindi siya retroactive. Okay? When we say retroactive, ibig sabihin nito, kung sa first sem, nagkaroon ka ng 9 absences, o isa na lang, magde-10 na. Pagtungtong na second sem, okay, pagtungtong na second sem, syempre, magre-refresh na yon, Okay? Hindi, hindi ko kunin yung 9. Ibig sabihin, sa second sem is wala na yun. Hindi na ikikero over yung 9 leads mo sa second semester. Okay? Yun yung sinasabi natin, hindi siya retro, uh, um, retroactive. Okay? So, pag natapos yung second semester, kung naka-9 ka lang, sa second semester, back to zero ulit. Refresh na tayo nun. Okay, ganun yung mangyayari. Pero syempre, as a student, you are, uh, as much as possible, okay, please, um, don't be late. Okay, yun lang naman ang gagawin ninyo. It's very easy. Gigising ka lang ng maa, matulog ka ng mag- Para hindi ka malate, uh, malate mo ka, kinabukasan in your class, all you need to do is to sleep early. Okay, ganun lang naman ang gagawin ninyo eh. And syempre, in order for you to sleep early, is kailangan gawin nyo yung mga task nyo na maaga. Hindi yung pagdating sa klase, 4.30. After na 4.30 ng klase nyo, kung ano na po yung pinagagagawa ninyo. After the class, you can do your assignment or your homeworks. Then after that, you can eat um, you can eat your your dinner. Then take a rest for a while. Okay, basa-basa ng konti. Then after that, sleep. Okay? Please, uh, masyano na tayo, mature na dapat yung pag-iisip natin. Okay? Hindi na tayo dapat nalalake pa or whatsoever. Kasi this is your responsibility, okay? Kailangan kasama na rin siya. Okay, so he, um, here this, uh, in the disciplinary probation, so makikita nyo naman naka-highlight ano siya, naka siya. Malilif lang siya, or ibig sabihin, matatanggal lang sa inyo yung disciplinary probation ninyo. Kapag, um, okay, kapag, Kaka, kuwari, naka 7 ka pa lang naman. Okay, sabihin na natin naka 7 tardiness ka. Tapos, hindi mo na naman siya naulit. 
Okay, for example, kasi kailangan accumul ano yan eh, yung accumulated natin. Sabi na natin naka-7 tardiness ka, tapos um, hindi mo na siya inulit ng mga ilang araw. Okay? So, ayun. Uh, kung naka-9 ka, tapos na sabi na naka-10 ka, di ba? Naka-10 ka, 10 na uh, 10 late and then nagkaroon ko ka na probationary period eh. Dun sa, dun sa probationary period na yon uh, once na hindi ka na late, Okay, once na hindi ka na late na mga ilang araw, o sabi na natin mga 2 weeks, okay, automatic na yan, ililift na yan ni um, junior admin. Okay, pero kapag ikaw ay naka-10 absence ka na nga, nasa, uh, you're under the probation, pero matag-expire na mukha mo, na-late ka pa rin, automatic, ikaw ay mapapatawa na ng major offense. But the major offense, ibibigay natin yan later on kapag na-discuss na natin. Okay, so like I mentioned, in terms for um, strict probationary period, ibig sabihin ito kapag nasa probationary, disciplinary probation, kayo nga, you are not allowed to incur another 10. Okay, 10 lates. Okay, kasi kapag nag 10, meron ka na nga 10 abs at 10 lates, tapos naka 10, tapos dahil nga sa disciplinary probation ka, e ma, yun nga, medyo matigas yung mukha mo, you already had an additional 10 lates, okay? Automatic, okay? Kapag ikaw ay pumalo ulit ng 10 lates, a uh, total of 20 lates, okay? In just one semester, or hindi pa natatapos ng semester, okay? Automatically, you will be withdrawing from the school, okay? O yung tinatawag natin, kailang uh, makikick out ka na sa school. Okay, mabibidraw ka na nga eh. So, ganun yung mangyayari. Okay? So, you have to make sure that um, in order for you not to be kicked out or withdraw from the school is kailangan hindi ka makaka-20 tardiness sa buong academic year. Ayun uh, na, sa 20 na yun ha, total kasi yun eh. Pero kung sa first sa semester pa lang, naka-20 ka na, okay, naka-20 ka na, ay, ibang usapan na yun guys, okay? So, very strict tayo in terms of um, rates and absences. Now, in terms of absences, like I mentioned, so the, the absences for the computation of the absences, so in the whole semester na meron tayong klase, so you are not allowed to be absent 20% ng, uh, 20% ng klase natin. So, ang gagawin niya, for example, so sa isang semester, kung meron tayong um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 15, so, from 15, 30, sabi natin 45. So, kung may 45 uh, meetings tayo, guys, so, ibig sabihin 20% nun, hindi, kukunin mo lang yung 20% nun, so, yun lang yung allowed na pwede kang umabsent. Pero, hindi ka pa na po pwede lumagpas pa sa 20%. Or else, automatically, uh, magkakaroon ka na, uh, pwede ka na namin kayong bigyan na 60%, okay, failing grade sa inyong mga class cards o sa mga report cards ninyo. Okay, yun lang. So, ang ano natin, ang ina-allow natin in terms of um, absent. So, hanggat maaari guys, eh, huwag na kayong umabsent. Lalong-lalo na yung mga tinatawag natin unauthorized absences. Okay? Kasi, um, kung hindi naman kailangan umabsent, so why you need to be absent? Okay? Eh, may klase kayo ngayon. Okay, yun nga. Kung um, 45 meetings tayo, for example lang, kung meron tayong 45 meetings sa loob ng semester, allowed lang kayo umabsent, 9 absent sa buong semester. Pero kapag naka-10 absent na kayo, automatic, um, ayun na nga, 60%. Yun. Pero itong 9 absent na to is unauthorized. When we say unauthorized absent, hindi ka pinayagan pero umabsent ka pa rin or umabsent ka ng walang paalam. Okay, may yung mga ganon, yung mga sinasabi natin absences. Okay? So, eto, yun nga, like I mentioned, we do have a um, series of or kinds of absences. The first one is approved absences. Obviously, the word itself, approved absences, uh, kailangan mo munang magpaalam sa teacher mo. You need to seek an uh, to report to your, um, either your class secretary or the class president or me directly to the messenger that you need to be absent today or this particular day because of this kind of reason. 
Okay, so for the valid reason na ina-accept ko lang hanggat maaari during to face to face is syempre, if that is an emergency na may sakit kayo, yan, approved absence na yan. Syempre. Pero syempre, kailangan meron kayong um, medical certificate na ipipresent once na pumasok na kayo sa klase natin. What else? Um, kapag kailangan nyo samahan si parents niyo for uh, uh, somewhere else, uh, somewhere, or mahalaga, so yun, pinapayagan ko yun, pero syempre, kailangan eh, uh, magsabi muna, o sabihin nyo muna kung uh, kailangan ba talaga umabsent na ganyan. Okay? Pero yun, uh, guys, uh, pag umabsent kayo, at nagpaalam kayo, at napayagan naman kayo, still, your uh, it's your responsibility na uh, wag na yung mga missed classes natin is kailangan nyo i-cope up. Okay? Kung ari, nag-quiz sa araw na yan, pero yun nga, wala ka. So, kailangan, hindi kita kailangan i-remind. Okay? Hindi ko yung trabaho na i-remind ka. Okay? Trabaho mo na hana, dahil absent ka, kailangan itanong mo sa mga classmate mo kung anong ginawa and then pag nag-quiz, kailangan mo rin kausapin ako para mag-quiz ka. Hindi ko trabaho na lalong lalo hindi nyo ako maaasahan na kausapin kayo absent kayo, then uh, I'm going to ask you that oh, hindi ka nakapag, uh, hindi ka nakapag quiz so you need to take the quiz, no it's your prerogative that you, that you going to ask uh, a make up quiz because you were absent on that particular day na nagbigay na okay, so ganun yung maging ano na so um So, ayun nga. Kagaya na nabanggit ko, as you can see, all proper, oh, pwede kayo umabsent na nagpaalam kayo, yes. Pero, after that, all the proper coordination, the concerned faculty members are also advised to give special consideration. Basta kapag uh, approved absences naman yung binigay, ginawa ninyo, automatic na yan that the faculty will be uh, will going to give you a consideration for the exams, quizzes, and other activities. But, syempre, like I mentioned, kayo ang manghingi. Hindi kami yung magtatarong sa inyo kung kailan ka mag-quiz. Lalong-lalong na sa akin. Hindi, hindi ko yun gawa. Pag hindi mo ginawa yun, okay, if you fail to ask a quiz for your me, uh, uh, for that particular day o sa mga susunod na araw, automatic isisiro na kita nun. Okay? And if you're going to ask Ma'am Salve, eh, since na yun naman yung nakalagay sa handbook, so I have all the reasons para digyan ka ng zero dahil hindi mo finalo up sa akin na ikaw ay kailangan kumuha na exam or quiz. Okay? That's it guys. Um, if ever na meron kayong mga questions regarding for the Uh, for the attendance and punctuality is just approach me para ma-assist ko po kayo. So, may continuation pa to, okay? Then, please be ready for a short quiz on Saturday uh, for Valley's Education Forms. From the start, ng rules and regulation that we discussed natin up to here. Okay? So, yun lang guys and good day. Bye!